In this video, we are going to discuss uh, natural logarithm. So, first, let me write down the important uh, properties of uh, natural logarithm. So, natural logarithm of 1 is equal 0. Because here we have degree E, right? Natural uh, base E for natural uh, logarithm which means e to power 0 is equal 1, right? Okay. Uh, next one, um, I can write down, that's not a property, but just so you know, if I write down any other logarithm, uh, log, and uh, take the base e, it's going to be equal, it's going to be same thing as natural logarithm, for example. Uh, next, natural logarithm e, which base is going to be e, that's why we say ln, it's in uh, base e, it's going to be equal 1. Why? Because if I write down e, base e raised to power 1 is equal e. Okay? Okay. So, um, next, let me see. If we have natural log e to power 10, that is equal 10 times natural log e, which is going to be equal 10 times natural uh, log e by base e is 1, that is equal 10. So, which means from here, I can write down that natural log e to power a, let's say, is equal a. Okay? Um, next one. Next one is going to be e to power natural log a, let's say, is equal a. Okay, so uh, let's say if I take example, uh, I have e to power um, natural log x to power 8 that is equal x to power 8, okay? And plus to that, uh, the all basic properties that uh, we know and I will use um, as I uh, solve the problem. So let's solve, uh, calculate the following expression. 2 natural log Free e. Uh, by the way, I uh, forgot to mention how they are related, natural log and uh, e. Natural log is an inverse of letter e. Okay, and letter e, let me add it here also, is approximately equal to 2.7182. Eight. Back to our problem. 2 natural log 3e minus natural log 9 over 3 natural log 5e minus 3 over 2 natural log 25. Okay. So, first of all, um, what changes I'm going to do here? Since I have 3e product, I can multiply at the convert to addition, right? So, if I have a logarithm ab, or even natural logarithm ab, doesn't matter, it's equal logarithm a plus logarithm b. So, I'm going to apply it. 
and we are going to get taking two out of uh, parentheses and in parentheses I get natural log 3 plus natural log e and minus uh, natural log 9 I'm going to represent as a 3 to power 2. Okay, in denominator, what's going to happen? I'm taking out 3, and the same way 5e, I'm going to break down into natural log 5 plus natural log e. And uh, minus 3 over 2, natural log 5 squared. Okay, so what we are getting from here? So we are getting 2 natural log 3 plus 2 natural log e. I am distributing these two, okay, minus, since I have here uh, the log 3 squared based on uh, property for power, log a to power p is equal p times log a so power always come in front and it's gonna be two natural log three divided by three natural log five plus three natural log e minus three over two times two natural log five where this two and two gone so what do we have here? Um, two uh, natural log three and negative uh, two natural log three canceling, as well as three natural log five and negative three natural log five is canceling. And we are getting two natural log E divided by three natural log E. So natural log E, we know it's gonna be equal one, right? So we are getting 2 times 1 here, 3 times 1 here, and the answer is 2 thirds. Okay, so that's the, uh, this is the one example, and now we move to use the second example, uh, which is um, a higher level of uh, difficulty. Okay, we are going to find the limit for the uh, find the limit for letter e so limit x approaches to zero in parentheses e to power x plus 8x to power 4 over x Okay, so let's, uh, uh, the, let me remind you the property where we have e to power, let's say natural log of x is equal x. Okay, so if our x, if uh, our x is equal, e to power x plus 8x to power 4 over x, right? I, I uh, at the substitute with x, replace this whole expression with uh, x. Then I can write down that um, e to power natural log, since we have natural log of x, so instead of x, I will put the whole this expression, right? So in, uh, I won't forget about limit, natural log, limit x approaches to uh, zero. Here will be e to power x plus eight x to power four over x. Yes, okay, so from here, I'm taking this limit out, which is going to be e to power limit 
x approaches to 0, natural log, e to power x plus 8x to power 4 over x. Okay. We don't have to have these square brackets because uh, we have only this expression under natural log. So I put there and I don't put here. So you would know it's either way we are going to be fine. Okay, now let's take uh, the limit. So what it's going to be, since uh, at the, uh, I have here degree 4 over x, so for natural logarithm, the power rule says, right? Power rule says if you have uh, the logarithm a to power p, uh, the p it's going to be p times natural log a, right? So from here, I can write down e to power 4 comes in front, 4 over x comes in front, and we have limit, x approaches to 0, right? Natural log e to power x plus 8x. Okay, see we have here x, I mean x, and because of the, it's um, x is uh, uh, tied up to limit, right, running to 0, then I cannot put x out of limit. So what I'm going to do here, leave the first uh, 4 out, but x is going to stay underneath this. So div divided by x, I will put in this uh, under the umbrella of uh, limit. So let's plug the 0 and see what we are getting uh, in the limit. So if I get natural log e to power 0 plus 8 times 0 divided by 0. So this is 1, right? e to power 0 is 1. This is 0, it's gone. So we are getting logarithm uh, 1, natural logarithm 1 is 0, right? So e to power 0. We have to get it. This is going to be 0 uh, and divided by 0. So we are getting um, uh, uh, indeterminate form of 0 over 0. Right? In these cases, we are using L'Hopital rule. L'Hopital rule. Uh, L'Hopital rule says if uh, at the, we are facing indeterminate form, you want to take derivative because derivative will uh, help uh, eliminate indeterminate form. Why we can't take derivative? Because uh, first the, under the first derivative is laying a uh, limit anyway, right? Uh, so therefore, uh, I'm going to take um, first derivative. It's going to be e to power 4 limit x approaches to 0. And I'm taking d by dx, since our variable is dx, I'm taking derivative, natural log, and in parentheses, e to power x plus 8x. Let me move down, it gets crowded here. Okay, much better. And uh, in denominator, I will have d by dx um, from x. Okay, let me make it like this so the reading would be better. Hmm? Okay, something like that. There we go. This way it's better seen that it's uh, exponent. Okay. So from here, what we are going to get, let's take derivative. E for 
limit x approaches to zero so what first of all here uh for this one d by dx it's going to be equal one right dx by dx practically it's it's getting dx by dx one okay and now in numerator we know the formula for natural log the, the degree of natural log d by dx of natural log x is equal 1 over x, which means we are going to get here e to power x plus 8x. Here is 1, right? And then we are getting inside of natural log and taking derivative of e to power x plus 8x. We know that. Let me clean this one. We don't need it. So e to power x, it's going to be e to power x, and derivative of 8x is going to be 8. And uh, this is what we are getting so far. Okay, and now let's take the limit. So what it's going to be equal to? e to power 4. So but, uh, if I plug x is 0, e to power x, if I plug x is 0, it's going to be equal. This is going to be 1, right? Plus 8. In denominator, I will have also 0. It's going to be 1 and plus 0, correct? So as a result, we are getting e to power 4 times, I mean, I'm sorry, here is 8. I had already added in my mind 8. So we are getting 4 times 9. Yes? And our final result, e to power 36. Okay, we are done. Okie dokie. See you next video. Bye for now.